Hello everybody, today we're going to discuss if statements in Java. An if statement performs a block of code if its condition is true. We've discussed how Boolean variables can be used within if statements. We may be a little familiar with them already. In this demonstration, we will have a variable of age. Set it equal to be some age. Age will be an integer. I would like to check if my variable of age is greater than or equal to 18. If so, we can print a message that you are an adult. To write an if statement, we'll type if parentheses curly braces. Within the set of curly braces, we can check a condition to see if it's true. So let's check to see if age is greater than or equal to 18. If that's true, we'll print the following. You are an adult. That would result in us outputting, you are an adult. Now, if this condition was false, if it's not true, let's say that my age is 12. Well, then we skip over the if statement. We check if this condition is true. If it is, we perform this code. If not, we skip it. Alternatively, we could add an else clause. This would be another statement. We would add else. If this is false, then do something else. So let's output the following. You are a child. Since the age is 12, we would output, you are a child. There's also an else if clause. So we have one of two possibilities, do this or do that. Now we could add something called an else if clause. Let's check else if age is less than zero. If this statement is true, then let's say you haven't been born yet. Now we're doing one of three things, but it all depends on these conditions. Our else clause is kind of like the default if none of the above conditions are true. So let's test this. My age variable is set to 19. This would display you are an adult. If my age variable was negative one, we would display you haven't been born yet. This statement was false, so we go down to the next one. This is true, negative one is less than zero, so we do this. Or if I was 10, well then, these top two conditions are both false, so we do whatever's within the else statement. You can add as many else if clauses as you would like. So here's another one. Else if our variable age is equal to zero exactly. Double equals is the comparison operator. We're checking if a variable or a value is equal to another value or variable. You don't want to use single equals because that's the assignment operator. Java thinks we're trying to assign a variable. When making a comparison, you use double equals. Is our variable age equal to zero? Then we'll print something else. Okay, we're going to print you are a baby. I will set variable age to be zero you are a baby because our variable age is equal to zero exactly. Let's add another else if statement. There's something I want to demonstrate. Let's check to see if age is greater than or equal to 65. Then we will print you are a senior. I'll set age to be 70. Here's the result. You are an adult. So why did we print this statement rather than this one? Well, with these if statements, we check them from the top down. This condition is technically true, as well as this one. 70 is greater than or equal to 18. So we execute this code and skip over the rest, even though this one is also true. You do have to pay attention to the positioning of your if and else if statements. 
In this situation, it would be better if we were to check to see if somebody's age was greater than or equal to 65 first. So let's turn this into the if statement. And then where we check if age is greater than or equal to 18, we will use an else if clause instead. Now this should work. You are a senior, but if the age was 50, well then, you are an adult. Now we're going to modify this program slightly. This time, we will ask for user input. We'll need the help of a scanner. At the top of our Java file, we're going to import java.util. the class of scanner. We'll need to create a scanner object. Scanner, scanner equals new scanner. Within the set of parentheses, type system.in. Then when we open a scanner, it is a good idea to close it when we're done with it just so we don't leave any resources open. With our variable of age, we're going to create a prompt to have a user enter in their age. I'm going to declare a variable of age, but we'll assign it later. Let's create a prompt. Enter your age. I'll use print instead of print line. And then we will assign age equal to scanner.nextInt. Okay, let's try this again. Add to your age. Let's say that I am 21. You are an adult. What if I was 99? You are a senior. I am negative one years old. You haven't been born yet. I am zero exactly. You are a baby. Or maybe I'm 10. You are a child. So with if statements, we check a condition. If it's true, we do it. We do this code. If not, we don't. Otherwise, we can check another condition with else if. And if none of these conditions are true, we can perform whatever's within an else statement. Else acts like the default code if none of the above conditions are true. Now this time, we're going to work with strings. We're going to create a variable of name, and it's going to be a string. We'll declare it, but not yet assign it. We will prompt the user to enter in their name. I will use print instead of print line. Enter your name. We will assign our variable of name equal to scanner.nextLine to get a line of text. This group of if, else if, and else statements, let's set this to be group two. We're going to create another set. This will be group one for the name. When somebody enters in their name, they could skip the prompt like this. Enter your name. I'm just going to hit enter to skip it. We will check if our name variable is empty. Here's how. If we'll check if our name is empty. There's a string method for this. We haven't discussed string methods yet. Instead of saying name is equal to an empty space, there is a built-in method of strings, and that is to take our variable name, dot, is, empty. This is another way to check to see if a string is empty. This will be our condition. Is empty will give you a boolean of true or false. So let's print the following if our name variable is empty. Let's say you didn't enter your name. Else, if our name is not empty, that means somebody typed in their name. Let's say, hello, plus name. And I'll add an exclamation point. Okay, let's try this again. Enter your name. If I hit enter, we'll perform then whatever's within the if statement. Then enter an age. You didn't enter your name. You are an adult. This time, let's type in our name, our first name. Hello, whatever your name is, you are an adult. This time we have two groups of if else statements. Group one is for the name, group two is for the user's age. This time let's create a Boolean. Boolean 
is student. Then we'll create a prompt. Let's ask, are you a student? But we need a value of true or false. Because Booleans can only be true or false normally. Is student equals use our scanner to get some user input next boolean now we'll create another group of if and else if statements group three we need an if statement so with booleans we could say is student is equal to true but there is a way to simplify this a shortcut you can just say is student it holds a direct value of true or false. We don't necessarily need to write like a whole condition. So if we're a student, we'll output you are a student. Else, if is student is false, then we'll output you are not a student. We have three groups of if else statements. Group three is for is student. Group two is for the age. Group one is for the name. Just to make this more fun, I'm going to add some emojis. I think it would make it more interesting, but you don't have to. So if somebody doesn't enter their name, I'm going to add a pouting face. If somebody enters their name, I will add a smiley face. If somebody is a senior, Maybe we can find an emoji for a grandpa. Let's find one for an adult. You haven't been born yet. Uh, we could do like a spirit or something. You are a baby. You are a child. You are a student. We could do a school. You are not a student. We could do an office. All right, so this is our final program. Again, we have three groups of if statements this time. One for the name, one for the age, and one for is student. And then for the prompt for are you a student, I'm going to use print instead of print line. Here's the result. Enter your name. And to your age, are you a student? Hello, your name. You are an adult. You are not a student. Let's try some of the other statements. I'm not going to enter a name. For the age, let's say that I'm negative one. Are you a student? True. You didn't enter your name. You haven't been born yet. You are a student. So those are if statements, everybody. They perform a block of code if its condition is true. Check a condition. If it's true, do this. If not, you can do something else. And well, everybody, that summarizes if statements in Java.